You have to master your own mind. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Worry about what you're doing. Focus on what you're doing, because everybody else out there, everybody judging you, they also have problems themselves. And that's when I realized myself. So I stopped comparing myself to everybody else, and I just compared myself to me. I'm, about, I'm my own hero. I'm my own hero. Ben Sweetland once said, 95% of all human problems stem from a negative mind. If that's true, and you don't want any more problems, it is your job to feed your mind with something better, something positive and transformative. It's your job to reprogram your mind through learning and self-development so you can find solutions to your problems and then notice the possibilities and opportunities that have always been lying right in front of your face, but your limited mind had not allowed you to see. Negativity keeps you blind to opportunities. It keeps you blind to the good in the world. It holds you hostage to your true potential. Negative people will always remain in the prison of their self-imposed limits. Sometimes it's a life sentence because they've convinced themselves there is no way out. They've convinced themselves it's someone else's fault that they are in that prison. Other people are holding them there, but they have the key. You have the key. The key to freedom. And it's in your mind. It's your beliefs about what is and what is not possible. That's where it starts. And from there you build. You build momentum, brick by brick, until you have created a masterpiece that you can call your life. You build your own life, starting with your beliefs, with your own work. It's a choice, and it's a choice you must make if you want a better life. If you want out of the prison of mediocrity, you must make that choice, and you must make it before it's too late.